Hey, what's going on, y'all? So NVIDIA broadcast got updated today, and there's really one thing that I'm really interested about this uh, software right here, which is the eye contact. So they finally released that version. I downloaded it already, and I already have it opened here. So I have the camera set up. Now, the delay might be a little bit ridiculous because I have this streaming, recording, and with the camera on. So first things first, this is the UI for NVIDIA broadcast. Again, this is totally free if you have an RTX card, I think it's RTX 2080 plus that you can have access to this. If you have an RTX card, go ahead and download it just to see if you have it. Uh, but anyways, I have CamLink 4K here, 1920 by 1080, and I can just go ahead and use a background replacement. I have a green screen in the back end. I just keyed it out. Did a pretty good job. Um, but honestly, this is this thing right here, eye contact, is what I am super excited about. So what this is going to allow you to do is... If I enable this right now, and right now I'm actually looking down. I know it's hard to see, um, but I'm looking down, not directly at the camera. But what this software is doing is actually making sure that my eyes on my face right now is still looking at the camera. Now, there's a couple of reasons as to why this technology is very exciting. Um, we do a lot of zoom meetings nowadays and when i saw this technology in the gtc what i was really curious about was you know can we fall asleep now during zoom meetings but still have nvidia broadcast broadcast with our eyes open so i'm gonna test that real quick um i don't think it's there yet but i'm really hoping that's where we're gonna go with this technology because this whole time that i'm talking i am not looking directly at the camera at all i'm looking down to the right camera left so honestly i don't know if the, it's working right now and what i'll do is i'll i'm gonna try and push it so i'm gonna move my eye far i'm gonna and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move my eyes further and further and further and really just curious to see where it's going to break so i'm moving i'm moving my eyes right now and that's like all the way to the right i can't move my eyes to the right anymore i'm not sure i'm pretty sure this is gonna break it but I'm going to check it out later, but this is it. This is pretty exciting stuff. And again, I'm going to close my eyes. Again, if you're like have a Zoom meeting or a class or something and you want to fall asleep, but you still want it to look like you're still awake, I'm going to close my eyes right now. It's close right now. Um, yeah, I don't think it, I don't think that's working. I just kind of glanced at it real quick. Um, so it's not there yet, but potentially this technology right here will allow us to do that in the future. So, because as you all know, some of those Zoom call meetings just take forever. And there's always somebody who wants to tag along and piggyback on the other person said, and that can turn into like five hours. So right now, what I can actually do is be on my phone, right? Right now, I'm not looking at the camera again, and I'm just using my phone. Uh, but really, it looks like I'm looking straight at the camera, like I'm paying attention to the meeting, but I'm not. I could be playing like a Game Boy or a Super Nintendo, I don't know, whatever y'all you know, kids play nowadays, Atari or something. So yeah, I'm looking down right now, and I am not looking at the camera. Again, I could just be on my phone watching some JS Films videos, learning about Unreal and Omniverse, and it looks like I am paying attention to the meeting. This is extremely, extremely exciting. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the NVIDIA Broadcast 1.4. And I really wanted to make this video because I was just really curious to see if we can finally fall asleep in Zoom meetings. Peace out.